वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द परसेंटेज इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो दैट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इम्पेडेंस वेयर एज इट्स बीइंग मेजर्ड इन वोल्टेजेस सो वी विल सी हाउ प्रैक्टिकली यू कैन मेजर द परसेंटेज इम्पेडेंस ऑफ अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ परसेंटेज इम्पेडेंस विद द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्किट एमबीए विद द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ फॉल्ट करंट and also the percentage impedance is a basic parameter that is required for the tape changers plus we need the percentage impedance for the parallel operations so we will see all these things together in this video let's start the video percentage impedance of a transformer this is a very important parameter as far as the transformers are concerned especially the power transformers and the distribution transformers so this one is represented by the letter z and percentage sign however you will be um, amazed that the it is measured by the voltages this is the impedance that's not measured in ohms but this percentage impedance is measured in the voltages or you can say also in the per unit <coughs> so how you can define this percentage impedance so the percentage impedance of the transformer is the voltage drop on the full load due to winding resistance and the leakage reactance expressed as a percentage of the rated voltage <coughs> now if you see a transformer this is a transformer name plate and in this name plate you can see this is here they have mentioned the percentage impedance of the distribution transformer here is 6.04 percent one thing is uh, that you, you will observe that as the voltage level is increasing you will find out the percentage impedance of the transformer is keep on increasing so for example if you have a transformer which has a rated winding uh, voltage 6600 volts at the primary side and when the full load current is applied the voltage drops is coming to 600 volts it means that the voltage drop in terms of percentage is 10 so we can say say that the percentage impedance of that transformer is 10% so it, we just have an idea that the percentage impedance of the transformer has something to do with the voltage drop at the maximum loading of the transformer so another importance uh, important parameters uh, or uh, related things related to percentage impedance is that percentage impedance is important for the parallel operations so if you have a two transformer exactly same uh, same mva same phase angle same voltage ratios but if the these two are having a two different percentage impedances these two transformer will not carry the same load if they are put uh, if they are put in parallel you if you connect a load at the second side of these to connect them parallel they will not uh, share the same load in fact each transformer will take the load that is inversely proportional to their percentage impedance for example if you have two transformer connected in parallel one has percentage impedance of 2 and another one has a percentage impedance of 1 it mean that the one the transformer that has a one Uh, per, uh, one volt percentage impedance will share 66 percent of the load, and the two ohm, uh, two volts uh, percentage impedance transformer will be carrying 33 percent. So there is a relationship in, in between the uh, the load sharing. So that's why one of the important thing for parallel operation of the transformer is you need to have the percentage impedance same. Others are the voltage. Um, should be the same phase angle should be the same and phase rotation vector group should be the same and the tape if the tape changer is installed should have the same number of tapes and same voltage level at each tapes so the another thing that's that's important for the percentage impedance is that it has something to do with the fault current so for the short circuit calculations if you want to know how much if the transformer secondary terminals are dead short circuited or short circuited how much will be the fault current so this fault current if the transformer is terminals are shorted is will be depending upon the impedance of the transformer so that's impedance is also 
called as a percentage impedance so the percentage impedance has to do also the another function of the percentage impedance is to limit the fault current so we will see how the percentage impedance uh, we can use for the calculation of fault MVA so there is another terminology fault MVA and we will calculate fault MVA using percentage impedance and we can calculate also the fault current or short circuit current using percentage M MVA next thing is the percentage impedance is import important also for designing of tape changers because if you are increasing the percentage impedance because you want to limit the fault current because you, you have to design a transformer for a specific rated current and the short circuit current so if the short circuit current is high obviously you need to increase the percentage impedance to limit the short circuit level as per your transformer rating so in in that way you are limiting the short circuit current but the, at the other hand you are basically also making a voltage drop in the transformer at the no load and full load for example if you are using 10 percent as i have explained if you are using 10 percent uh, percentage impedance uh, volts uh, then it's uh, indicating that there will be a voltage of 10 percent from no load to full load conditions so normally 5% voltage drop is allowed so it means that you need to do something to manage this voltage drop as well so that's why you need to have a tape changer to compensate the voltage drop that is being caused by the percentage impedance of the transformer so next thing is it's basically is the measured voltages so actually the percentage impedance is measured in the voltages so you will see how this is working so how the percentage impedance is measured is very interesting this we have tested also in the lab so for testing or measuring the percentage impedance so you need to first of all short circuit the low voltage side so you have to make sure that the shorting uh, con conductor or connector should be able to carry the full load current of low voltage side that you need to calculate the full load current of the low voltage side and then you need to calculate the capacity so take the margin of 10 or 20 percent and you can short the winding of the low voltage and the, at high voltage you need to connect a variable ac source and you need to increase the voltage very very slowly and very carefully so you need to increase the voltage and measure the current so when the current is reaching full load ampere at the HT side so you have to connect the voltage source to the HT so because you can um, easily manage your AC source so you need to increase the current increase the voltage at the HT side and you need to measure the current so when the current is re reaching to the full load ampere of high voltage sign you need to stop that uh, increasing the voltages you just need to measure the volts and these volts are basically the voltages this will be the voltage drop that will appear from no load to full load for the transformer so you will measure the volts that is a percentage uh, that's basically a impedance voltages and you can convert in by the per unit um, by the per unit value the percentage impedance volts so for example you have connected an AC source and the voltage that you measure here is for example 10 volts at 10 volts you are getting the full load current at the HV side so you will also get the full load current at the LV side and uh, it means that there will be a voltage drop of 10 volts when the transformer is subjected to the full load amperes so for example if the transformer has the rated volts of uh, 100 if the transformer rating rated voltages are 100 and we have measured the voltage percent uh, voltage percent uh, impedance voltage drop as 10 it means that if you convert into the per unit you can say there will be drop of drop in 10 percent voltage drop will be there in the voltage because and we will see the percentage impedance is 10 10 percent will be the percentage impedance so for example if a transformer has 
a voltage rating of 11 kV and it has percentage impedance of 10% it means that there will be a voltage drop of 1.1 kV when the transformer is subjected to full load okay so in this way the percentage impedance uh, voltage drops are calculated and tested so uh, now we will see how we can do the calculations of short circuit so we will see how we have to do this uh, calculations so if we just see we have a transformer of 10 mb we have 10 mb transformer and if the percentage impedance of the transformer is 10 percent so you can calculate the short circuit mva for the transformer short circuit by just dividing the actual mva of the transformer divided by the short circuit mva which is 10 percent or you can say 0.1 so the short circuit mva of transformer is equal to 100 mva in this case so we have a short circuit MVA of the transformer that is 100 MVA. Now you can calculate based on this MVA the HV and LV short circuit currents. So for example if the HV voltage here is equal to 132 and LV is 11 kV so you can just calculate using the formula S is equal to 103 V into I so now you can calculate I short circuit at any side is by S short circuit divided by under root 3 divided by the voltages. So you have to use the same formula I short circuit is equal to S short circuit divided by under root 3 and divided by the rated voltage. So if you want to calculate for the HV side, so I short circuit HV will be equal to short circuit MVA which is 100 uh, MVA divided by under root 3 divided by the HP side voltage 132 kV so the answer will come I short circuit HP will be equal to 437.39 amps okay and if you calculate in the same way the LV short circuit you are using the same formula so you just you, you will get the result as 5248 amperes or 5.28 kilo ampere is the short circuit level at the LV side so in this way you can calculate the short circuit level of the transformer so other way of calculation for the short circuit current is if you know the full load amperes so i have calculated the full load amperes you have to use the same formula s is equal to under uh, 3v into i so you have to put s 10 mv in this case to find out the full load ampere of hv or lv side under uh, and further you have to put the voltage if you are finding the full load amps for the hv side you have to put the HP voltages and you will get the currents so you, you you will get the full load ampere of HP side and that's equal to 43.7 amperes and the full load current of LV side that's equal to 524.8 amperes so the, we have the full load currents normally you can find out this also from the nameplate of the transformer directly and you just need to uh, divide this by the percentage impedance so which is in our case 0.1 and you will get the value 437.39 which is the same as the one we calculated by the by this way so you have the rated full load current of HV and LV just divide it by the percentage impedance you will get the short circuit current for the transformer at HV and LV side 5.248 kilo amps so in this way the uh, percentage impedance uh, you are calculating the short circuit MVA you are doing the fault calculations also in the same way you, when once you know your uh, voltage drops you will be also able to design the tape changer properly as per the percentage impedance of the transformer so this is all about the percentage impedance how it's been calculated and how it's been measured and what is the uh, different uses of percentage impedance for the transformer design and short circuit calculations thank you very much